In June 1994, the Ulysses spacecraft began an expedition over the poles of the Sun. Its mission? To study the Sun and the solar atmosphere expanding into space. Little is known about this star at the centre of our solar system, yet it dominates all of life on Earth. To reach the high solar latitudes never before explored, the spacecraft used the gravity of an immense planet, Jupiter, to bend its flight path out of the plane in which the planets orbit. Looping back inwards towards the Sun, the spacecraft will then journey onto the Sun's southern pole. Ulysses was launched on October 6, 1990 aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. Nine science experiments study the solar wind and energetic particles streaming outward from the Sun's corona. The experiments will also study cosmic rays entering the solar system from interstellar space. Sixteen months and 575 million miles after launch, the spacecraft began these investigations after its arrival at Jupiter. The closest approach occurred on February 8, 1992. The experiments would be used to study the region dominated by the rotating magnetic fields of Jupiter called the magnetosphere. Particles trapped within Jupiter's magnetosphere come from three sources, the solar wind, Jupiter's upper atmosphere, and Jupiter's moons. One of Jupiter's moons contributes gas to the Jovian magnetosphere at a rate of nearly one ton per second. This gas becomes ionized and forms a ring called a plasma torus that circles the planet. Ulysses will measure the composition of this donut-shaped plasma ring. At greater distances, a rotating sheet of plasma encircles Jupiter. Centrifugal force slowly drives gas in the plasma sheet outward until it eventually escapes from Jupiter. Outside Jupiter's magnetosphere is the solar wind. This wind blows at speeds of about one million miles per hour. The wind can't penetrate the Jovian magnetosphere, but is deflected around it. Ulysses' predecessors, the Pioneer Voyager spacecraft, entered the Jovian magnetosphere when the local time was near noon and exited in the pre-dawn region of the planet. The Ulysses spacecraft followed a path similar to its predecessors as it entered, but left on the dusk side of the planet. During its 10-day tour of the Jovian system, Ulysses performed experiments and explored regions of the magnetosphere not visited by other spacecraft. From there, Ulysses will be on its way to explore the poles of the Sun.